Hello guys, Pavel here, welcome to another quick tutorial. Today I will show you how to transfer your mp3 files from your Windows PC to your iPhone. Uh, of course I will be using iTunes, so you need to have this program installed and of course you need to connect your iPhone through USB cable to your computer. Uh, before we will transfer the file we need to uh, change uh, some options uh, so you should have something like that displayed or something similar and click on this little icon uh, with the phone and I've changed it already but there's a good chance you've got automatically sync when this iPhone uh, is connected marked so you need to unmark it and you need to mark the very last option uh, manually manage music and videos so confirm this and now we can transfer the transfer the file now this this um, application this window displays two areas this is of course my iphone here but um, above this library library of different files at the moment is it's empty so i need to add a file to the library first and then to transfer it you can add the whole folders if you've got let's say albums of or maybe a general folder where you store the music but in my ca case i want to transfer just a simple one file so i will go to the file menu and then add file to the library and this is a song of Ed Sheeran Shape of You I want to add so I clicked on it and at the moment it is in the library of course it is the same file but uh, differently displayed as a song as a part of the album as a mm, song created by an artist and I need to transfer it to the music folder of uh, my iPhone so again I, I go to the library and I use a simple drag and drop so I click on it and move it to the music and I drop it there so th there's some information at the top what is going on the file is being copied to the iPhone now and now this process finished so as you can see now it is both in the library and in in my iPhone and I will delete this file quickly because I want to show you also second way where you can create a playlist and transfer the whole playlist uh, with a song it may be useful because um, you know individual songs may be difficult to access later on in iPhone so I think many people would use playlists to group them together so let's say I've got this one song but later I'm, I'm planning to add some other pop songs so I will right click on it and add to playlists and I will create new playlist called pop pop songs and then there's another way to uh, you know send this whole information whole playlist pop songs together with the track to the iPhone I click on this icon again and I click on the music and then I need to mark sync music you can sync entire music library or selected playlist artists and so on so with the playlist i mark uh, pop songs and then click apply so now both the um, playlist and the file is, is being sent to the iphone and you can see it's being transferred and pop songs so on my iphone i've got this playlist and it's easier for me to organize my file uh, you need to remember however that doing it will will change that first option so that manually manage music and videos will be unmarked so if you want to delete songs manually later on you need to mark it again because I didn't notice that before and 
it caused some problems for me. Okay, I, f I hope you have found it useful. Please let me know if you've got any questions and I will try to answer. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye-bye.